This video will discuss general repair recommendations for lightning strike or ALS layer corrosion found on a citation composite surface. If surface corrosion is found on the composite surface resembling a crosshatch, it's possible moisture intrusion has started to corrode the underlying lightning strike protection layer. Although this damage needs to be addressed, it is not considered a major structural repair since the outer ALS ply provides an electrical path for static electricity and lightning strike protection only. Therefore, a certified major repair definition is not mandatory for this issue. This video covers typical repair procedures for a composite assembly using ALS mesh fabric similar to style 3K216PWALS, Cessna part number F990186 for an example. If the part uses different lightning strike protection materials like Thor strand or metal strips, those types of materials and assemblies are not covered in this video segment. Citations use different types of ALS mesh or aluminum screen for the lightning strike protection layer depending on the part. Contact team structures with the part number off the ID plate or from the illustrated parts list if an ID plate doesn't exist on the assembly. Team structures can then review the bill of materials list to determine the correct ALS material. Sand off the paint and primer at the damaged area. Continue to remove the corroded ALS layer with a DA or orbital sander. Carefully sand the paint and primer off another 2 inches from the periphery of the damaged ALS layer. Carefully examine the composite for evidence of delamination. A coin tap test can be utilized in accordance with Chapter 51 of the applicable SRM. If delamination is found, discontinue repairs and contact team structures. Clean the composite surface with MPK and a cloth, but do not saturate the composite. Prepare a repair ALS layer ply that is 2 inches larger than the removed section. Completely saturate the repair ply with EA9396 and lay up using CSPMP part number U000948S, which is a 25 gram easy pack. The orientation will be the same as the existing ALS ply. Make sure the new ALS repair ply is in contact with the existing ALS. Vacuum bag the laminate and cure at room temperature for 24 hours. Refer to Chapter 51, Vacuum Bagging for Composite Repairs. Or, the adhesive may be cured at 160 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour while vacuum bagged. After curing, inspect the repaired area for voids, resin cracks, or delamination. Verify electrical conductivity from the center of the repaired area to an existing conductive surface. Reference the Maintenance Manual Chapter 20, Electrical Bonding Maintenance Practices. Reapply primer and finish paint in accordance with Maintenance Manual Chapter 20, Exterior Finish. If the part is a primary flight control, rebalance the assembly in accordance with the applicable SRM Chapter 51 section. For any structural questions or concerns, please contact Team Structures at 316-517-6061 or email to csstructures at txtav.com. Thank you.